If you guys are looking for New England Patriots news and rumors outside of YouTube, I highly suggest following me on Twitter, at ARBarefoot or X, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to still call it Twitter, but I'm not just talking about the Patriots. I also do cover the Boston Celtics here at Chat Sports. So if you want all Boston sports, everything, I highly suggest following my Twitter as we go on ahead and get started with this New England Patriots video right now. What's going on, Patriots fans? My name is Allie Barefoot, and I am the new host here of Patriots Today by Chat Sports. Do not worry, Nick Roloff is still here. He's just taking on some other duties around Chat Sports. Same thing with Harrison Graham. So I cover the Boston Celtics, like I said, at Chat Sports. So might as well cover the Patriots as well. And it's a good thing, too, because Drake May has officially become a New England Patriot this afternoon. The official tweet did come out that he signed his rookie deal. The source says the number three overall pick is now officially under contract, which we had no surprise here. We knew they were going to offer him this contract. Of course, there was the speculation of whether or not their details would be disclosed. But here's what Drake May will be making in his rookie year, which I'm going to tell you, I'm jealous. The kid better be paying off here super soon. So when I'm talking about Drake May, I'm talking about $36.6 million through the four-year term of his deal. And he'll also be signing that a deal worth $23.5 million. That's going to be covering a huge chunk of Drake May's paycheck as well. So clearly he is the biggest rookie that the Patriots had to sign to a contract in this offseason. But now there are still three rookies left to sign. They did end up drafting here in the latest 2024 NFL draft. Jalen Polk, of course, the wide, re wide receiver out of Washington. You got Caden Wallace and Layden Robinson as well. Those two offensive linemen are also looking for some type of rookie contract from the New England Patriots. But Drake May obviously was the number one on their list. He got paid. Now these are the three left to do so. But here's the main question, right? Surrounding everything with Drake May, now officially becoming a New England Patriot is who is going to be quarterback one? That is going to be the storyline for the rest of the offseason. And that's why you guys subscribe to Patriots Today by Chat Sports because this is my job is to talk about the news and the rumors surrounding your favorite team up there in the Northeast. So with that being said, of course, you do have several players here that could possibly be the QB1. But we're looking at two right now. We're looking at Jacoby Brissett and Drake May because obviously they did draft Drake May in the hopes that he could become the next NFL quarterback for the New England Patriots. But they also picked up Joe Milton. As you guys can see, they've made several quarterback moves here in the last year by signing Jacoby Brissett and they take Drake May with a third pick. They end up taking Joe Milton with the 193rd pick in the NFL draft. Let me tell you, that surprised me, but I'm glad they did it because then they waived Nathan Rourke, their QB number five on May 24th, which he has since been picked up by the New York Giants. So with those offseason expectations, the Patriots have a tough QB battle ahead. They planned for this. They wanted that veteran and that rookie and if you guys want even more information on that, go back, check out my few videos in the past. I talk about how Jacoby Brissett has really taken on that mentor role for Drake May because the question right now is, do they trust Drake May to be QB1? Well, Elliot Wolf did join up in Adams here to talk about whether or not Drake May is looking to be QB1, whether it's going to be Jacoby Brissett. And I know what you're thinking because I'm thinking the same thing too. It's still really early. But here's what Elliot Wolf had to say. I think those will be some important conversations to have. Right now, it's Jacoby Brissett. He's taking the first reps. We're excited by what he's shown, not only on the field, but also on the field with his throwing ability. Then, Drake May. Let's be honest, we've had him for three weeks now. There's a long way to go with all of our rookies and all of our players as we adapt to this new scheme that Coach Alex Van Pelt is implementing offensively. So with that being said, this is pretty natural. You're obviously going to pick the veteran over the rookie, especially if you went and picked that veteran just m months, weeks before the NFL draft. As of right now, you know Brissett is a sure thing because you have literally seen it in the NFL. Drake May's a big fat question mark because you've seen what he can do. Obviously, they have studied him thoroughly to be able to draft him, but it's all college ball. When you look at the Patriots QB death chart, Jacoby Brissett is going to be a QB1 for as of right now. Drake May, though, I don't think that is a fair thing, uh, a far stretch to say he could possibly move up into the QB1, moving closer to the season. Bailey Zappi may or may not end up making that. And then Joe Milton, I'm really excited to see what the Patriots would like to do here with Joe Milton moving forward, which 
no one is to say he's not out of this QB competition here as well. But before I hop into what else Elliot Wolf had to say about Drake May and really talk about what Drake May's position is here with the New England Patriots in this offseason, I want to ask you guys one question. Which preferred scenario would you rather see Drake May have? Would you rather start Drake May this NFL season or would you rather him develop a little bit? Hence, starting Jacoby Brissett, Zappi, or Milton ahead of Drake May to really make sure he doesn't have that pressure and turn out to be a bust like the Patriots have seen in the past. Go ahead and comment that down below. Type start or develop for which answer you guys have and why you guys are doing that. Let me talk about Drake May's swag here for a second. Let me tell you about Fanatics. Chatsports.com slash Jersey. They have the best gear for you guys to rock in Foxborough this fall, winter, early, spring, summer. Doesn't matter. Want to wear this to a bar? Great. Want to wear it to a day drink? Even better. You want to wear this out to the grocery store? I think it would look great. Just know he's not going to be number one. He is going to be number 10, but this is what Fanatics had to come up with with their prototype. I think this jersey is fresh. I would love to rock the Drake May jersey this upcoming fall because you never know if he does end up being your QB1. This jersey could be worth a lot one day. So if you guys want to go on ahead and get it, I highly suggest using our link, chatsports.com slash jersey. And heads up here, if you guys ever are looking for a nice gift to give, it is almost Father's Day coming up in the next couple of weeks. So if you guys are really looking to make a splash, go on ahead, check out the Drake May jerseys at fanaticschatsports.com slash May jersey. Speaking of quarterbacks, let's talk about Jacoby Brissett here just for a moment because like Elliot Wolf just previously said, they're all learning a new scheme. Everything here is new for the New England Patriots. So when you're learning Alex Van Pelt's offense, it's going to be extremely tough for veterans and rookies, but especially hard for rookies because they're having to learn not only NFL offenses, but an offensive coordinator they've never worked with. Brissett has worked with Van Pelt in the past. Obviously, they're both two veterans in the league. In 2022, Jacoby Brissett was QB1 in Cleveland, along there with Joshua Dobbs, and Alex Van Pelt was the Cleveland quarterback coach at the time. So they have had 365 days to work with each other. Now they're just taking their, their talents to a different program up north to New England, so now you're definitely thinking, all right, obviously Jacoby's going to be number one right now if he kind of understands a little bit more than the rest, but that's the whole point. You're trying to develop these other quarterbacks in the depth chart up until August preseason and then especially by September. This is a perfect setup for New England to be successful in their offense this season. The Patriots have a solidified depth chart with rookies and vets in it, which does make a pretty good recipe here for success moving forward. If they want to allow Drake May to develop, they do have time. You can put your faith in Brissett for a little while. They just don't want to repeat what just recently happened with Mac Jones. And I don't blame them at all. Here's what Elliot Wolf had to say about the QB success that they've had in the New England Patriots organization for the last couple of years. The main thing that we've been able to take away from the Mac Jones situation is just being able to support not only Drake May, but every quarterback we have. Just throw every level of support that we possibly can at the quarterbacks. And those are things that whether it's coaching, whether it's something off the field, whether it's virtual reality, whatever the case may be, just really having the willingness to support whoever the quarterback is in every facet that we can, possibly can. So they're learning from their mistakes. They're like, hey, look, we drafted Mac Jones, we started him, it didn't work out, and now he's playing for Jacksonville. They now have this great talent in Drake May, even Joe Millen, that they could possibly really develop, take their time. They don't have to push him into the fire like they did with Mac Jones to make sure they do have success on that offense. And I'm going to be honest, I'm not a huge fan of throwing May into the fire right now. I'm not. However, I do want to see how dirty he can get and what he is willing to withstand. And the only way I feel to do that in the NFL is to really throw him in the fire. So it's going to be a tricky offseason. And with everything that I've learned so far, Drake May definitely has the football kind of IQ to learn fast and learn quickly. But if he needs that extra time to sit behind Brissett, I'm not mad at it because they're taking a steady approach here to the Drake May type of year they want to have, whether it's going to be a learning year or whether it's going to be a, hey, Brissett can get the job done. We want to win. Drake May is going to be our guy. Wolf said, we'll kind of see how it goes from here. Maybe he'll be ready. Maybe he won't. And that is a much better approach, in my opinion, than what they did with Mac Jones saying, hey, kid, you just came off of the greatest quarterback ever in the history of the NFL, Tom Brady. We just drafted you. Go win us a Super Bowl. 
didn't really work out like that. So hopefully Drake May can have some time here to figure out what kind of quarterback he is going to be. But obviously, Drake May has been called the prototypical type of quarterback, but there have been some, some not issues, but some learning curves there about maybe just being too slow or reading defenses. Maybe it's been reading too slow on where he needs to go there on the field. So what do you guys need to see from Drake May to be the Patriots quarterback one in the fall. If you think he's going to be that guy, I know he still has a long way to go, just like every rookie does. What is something you need to see to feel secure in Drake May getting the job done? Go ahead and comment that down below. And like I said, I'll be taking over Patriots today by Chat Sports. I am your new host, Ali Barefoot. Feel free to give me a follow on Twitter at AR Barefoot. And as always, hit that sub button. I promise I will try to make Patriots fans as happy as I can with my content. But all you guys got to do to support the channel is subscribe.